Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2011 Keystone Laredo 310 RE triple slide fifth wheel. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Exterior length is 36 feet. Exterior height to the dual AC units is 12 feet 7 inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight. This is an estimate. It's right around 10,200 pounds. 10,200 pounds. I could not find the weight sticker on this trailer, but uh, the measurements I'm giving you are by, from the brochure. So, give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. A beautiful coach. Uh, as far as condition, rating it 1 through 10, as 10 being the best, it's definitely a 10. I think any dealer would agree with me. It's a beautiful coach. It's a 2011 and we're in 2019 right now, so uh, definitely for the age, it's been extremely well maintained. Okay, let's go ahead and get started in the rear. We'll start off in the small slide out with the rocker chairs. Slide out, first slide out's gonna be, it's gonna be about seven foot long and definitely three foot deep. Show off those rocker chairs. It's gonna be a brown cloth finish on the chairs and again excellent condition kind of a corduroy look I guess um, and uh, you do have window uh, day night shades in the windows and show off those window treatments here colors are going to be tans dark tans browns your cabinets are all going to be uh, it's going to be like a glazed oak finish, solid wood drawer fronts, and uh, it's going to be like a bronze finish on your hardware. See if I can get in, zoom in on that. Okay. And in the rear is the rear entertainment center with the power lift TV. Kind of show off the entertainment center and the beautiful cabinets. They're kind of a, a tinny glass finish on the cabinets. Huge rear window when the TV's down. Have a nice view of the lake. And this is going to be where your stereo is. Stereo is going to be DVD, CD ready, and uh, MP3. Kind of zoom in on that a little bit. And it's a Jensen stereo. All right. And the TV is going to be a Samsung. So it is a name brand. And uh, I would say it's going to be at least a 40 inch flat screen. And the little button to put it down is right here. Oh, 110 outlet right there. And uh, putting it down, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and put it all the way down. There you go. Get the idea. Nice big rear window. Okay, and let's spin around here to the super slide. It's going to be the second slide out. It's a super slide. It's going to be at least uh, 12 foot long and three foot deep. Accommodates the hide a bed sleeper sofa. Zoom in on that. The fabrics are again going to be the tans, tan cloth, and dark browns. Again, excellent condition. And the bed, you just pull the back forward I'm, I'm kind of one-handed right now with the camera in my other hand but uh, you get the idea it sleeps definitely two grown adults again day night shades and the boot dinette breaks down into a bed remove the poles table sets in between the two cushions and you can definitely sleep definitely one grown adult uh, easily two kiddos show up on the fabrics there it's gonna be the same fabric as the two rocker chairs and again, excellent condition. All right, spin around to the kitchen area here. You do have storage for pots and pans on the back side in the living room area from the kitchen. And you do have the solid surface Corian style countertops. In this line, you'll usually find a, like a wrap or the Famica tops, but this is uh, definitely some of the best cabinetry you're gonna find on a fifth wheel. And 2011, this is an undermount mounted double bowl sink. 
So definitely one of the nicest uh, sinks you're going to find on a fit in 2011. Nice sink covers. Show off the cabinets. 22 inch oven. Looks like it's never been used. Three burner gas cooktop. Usually the front burner is going to be a high output. And you do have a microwave. More cabinets. Kind of back up. Show off those cabinets there. Okay. High traffic area here is all going to be a vinyl floor, so easy to sweep out and clean. I uh, do want to point out the carpet is in excellent condition. Kind of zoom in on that. I did not find any issues with water damage around the slide outs. Always check the carpets around the slide outs for dark staining. Did not find any issues. As far as I could tell, this is no dogs, uh, no pets, and uh, non smoker. Show off the cabinets there. The uh, I'll go ahead and show you buttons for the slide outs are in here and the awning button right here easy to figure out place to put your keys and more storage lots of storage on this 310 RE model and you do have the large 8 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator by Dometic show off that Dometic badge there and it is full adjusting on temperature it's not just set to one temperature like uh, most of your models nice wood race paneling on the fridge that may have been an option I used to sell keystones uh, and then usually that was either a package that you purchased or it was definitely was an option uh, pantry area I always try to show off the pantries huge pantry okay Walking up into the kind of neo angle side aisle hallway. Uh, before we go into the master bedroom, let's show off the bath. Foot flush porcelain toilet or china toilet, not a plastic toilet. More storage for odds and ends. Your ducted AC in here. And nice medicine cabinet and vanity area. Glass enclosed shower. Kind of a tub too for kiddos. They don't do that anymore. You usually don't see that nice skylight. Alright. Speed this video up. Going into the master bedroom. It's going to be a queen bed. Queen bed does lift up. There's some storage up underneath there, but also your uh, slide out mechanisms underneath there too. But you do have some storage for um, blankets and stuff like that. Nice corner cabinet here in the master bedroom. And panning around in the very front, this is going to be where your TV goes, entertainment center. And you are ready for cable and satellite. This tray pulls out for your TV, and once you're done watching TV, you can add that away, and you're ready to go. Uh, I did check all the corners, uh, all four corners, everywhere for water damage. Did not find any issues whatsoever. It's going to be your third slide out. Third slide out's again going to be about seven foot long and about two and a half foot deep. Show off that queen bed there. This is going to be your second AC unit. It's probably going to be a 13,500 BTU AC unit in here. And you are ducted AC in here with the main 15,000 BTU large AC unit that I'll show you when we go into the living room again. Show off that side of the hallway and closet in the side of the hallway. Lots of storage again. It's going to be your thermostat control for your heat and your AC. It's going to be your water heater switch. Uh, it's going to be, I believe it's going to be a 10 gallon water heater. May even be a 12 gallon. Uh, this is going to be uh, your test for your monitor panel there. Uh, batteries fully charged off to the right, you'll see. And then all your tanks are empty. This coach, I believe, is winterized still. Uh, water pump switch here. Easy to figure out. Okay. And there's going to be your first primary AC which is uh, going to be a 15,000 BTU large AC unit 
all ducted and your furnace on this is a 35,000 BTU furnace more than enough for a 36 foot floor plan okay I think I got everything in here let's go outside it's a little windy hopefully my new road mic will cut down on the wind back up here Again, excellent condition. I checked for delamination. I checked for stress cracks around the slide outs. Check for that bubbling on the outside, which is delamination caused by water damage. Usually did not find any issues whatsoever. All the decals are in excellent condition. And if I remember right, this coach has been stored pretty much inside all its life. Show off that beautiful molded uh, front fiberglass cap. Show off those decals and that Laredo badge. Nice docking lights here and mirror for hitching up. And you do have the front power leveling jacks, and you do have rear power stabilizer jacks, power awning. Uh, it's probably going to be, it's going to be at least a six, 16 foot power awning, fully adjusting power awning. And your windows are, I believe, 80% tent. Nice one tent outlet here for plugging in odds and ends. Uh, you do have the insulated uh, slam latch baggage doors with gas assist, assist struts, which is really nice. And this is a heated cargo area. Uh, you do have the radiant heat, plus there's a forced duct heat right there. So, And you are cable and satellite ready up in here. Here's your aluminum framing in your floor and in your side walls. And again, slam latch baggage doors in 2011. That was awesome. Outside speakers, it has a pretty much full entertainment package on it. This is going to be your aluminum frame badge there, aluminum frame side walls and floor, a thermal shield. You can go into really cold weather on this. Uh, you can, your, your um, holding tanks are all going to be uh, protected and your gate valves are all protected, which is really nice. And oh, here, here's your R value. Usually you don't see that. Uh, 30, 35,000 BTU furnace, which uh, the furnace does heat the underbelly. So as long as the furnace is on, you've got a, a heated underbelly, R28 in the roof, R30 in the floor. Anyway, you got an idea of that. These are going to be the 16 inch aluminum alloy wheels. The owner, if he remembers right, he, I think he believes uh, they're four years old. The tires, they're in excellent condition. Lifespan of an RV tire is uh, usually six to eight years. Uh, definitely, you have another easily two years on the tires because they are in excellent shape. A freshwater uh, tank gravity fill here. I believe your freshwater tank is going to be a 55 gallon freshwater holding tank back up here show off that front side from the rear and again all decals are all in excellent condition it does have slide out awning package ladder to get up on your full walk on roof to service your dual ACs this is going to be your button for your power stabilizer jacks let's show that off and show off that enclosed heated underbelly there's your power stabilizer jack see if I can get that enclosed heated underbelly spare tire right there back up here The cloudy day, uh, trying to get my videos in for the season, but uh, anyway, uh, it is a cloudy day, but I did check uh, for any oxidation on the sidewall, did not find any issues. Uh, see if I can show off those decals, kind of zoom in. They're not curled up whatsoever. Uh, this is, I would say, the condition uh, that it came off of the assembly line, pretty much, is what I would pretty much say condition of the camper and the decals and it's definitely been extremely well maintained shut those wheels it's gonna be your furnace exhaust right there refrigerator access panel it's gonna be your outside shower hot and cold running water black tank sewer flush so you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore cleans out your holding tank your sewage tank it's going to be your gray tank uh, gate valve right there it's enclosed in the heated underbelly it's going to be your hookups for your sewer hose it's going to be another gray and black tank dump valves here or your gate valves and they're all protected let's see if i can show off that underbelly I think they're calling is you can go into zero degree weather on this coach. There you go, huge garage. 
and a slightly latch baggage doors. And I believe that is a, let's check it out. We've got enough time. Let's see. Yes, it's a 12 gallon. I don't know if you see it. It says 12 dot US gal. 12 gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power 15 minutes later, you have hot water. Here's going to be your water hookups when you're hooked up at a campsite. And these are going to be your dual 30 pound LP tanks with automatic switch over. And this is going to be your switch up front here for your docking lights. Let's go ahead and turn that off. It's going to be your button for your front leveling jacks for leveling up and for hitching onto your truck. You want to point out you do also do have, there's your battery disconnect right there. That's where your battery goes. And the red knob is the battery disconnect by the way. Kind of looks like a tack area. But anyway, lots of storage. Beautiful camper. show off that back side here before I finish up the video. Again, I do check for stress cracks around the slide outs in the corners. Uh, I did check for delamination, did not find any issues. I definitely think a dealer would rate this, uh, uh, definitely a 10, 10 being the best as far as condition. Beautiful camper. If you want to come see the camper, you just call the number on the ad, you deal directly with the owner. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow Help Sell MyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube.